So as you already may know, learning TypeScript can be quite challenging. If you just want to learn like the basics of it and how to like apply types to parameters and return types, that stuff is pretty easy. But when it comes to learning more about the more advanced stuff, it can be quite daunting to kind of understand where to even start. Luckily, there is a new web application that I stumbled upon called typehero.dev, which is maintained by a variety of different contributors. I think there's over like 100 or more, which is kind of led by the community of Trash. Trash Dev is another Twitch streamer, so go check him out. I'll put the link in the description. He also has a Twitter that you can go check out. That'll be in the description. But basically him and a bunch of his um, community built this really cool project. And I want to kind of share a couple things about this if you're looking for a nice, fun way to learn TypeScript and really just elevate your skill levels. First thing to point out, there is an advent of TypeScript. So every December, there's always like these events where you have like 25 days to practice various coding skills. Usually it's called advent of code. There is an advent of TypeScript on this website, which every day there is a challenge that you can solve and they progressively usually get harder as time goes on, right? So day one, super easy, assuming your TypeScript skills are there at all. But they're going to get a little bit harder, and at midnight they will unlock. So it looks like in about an hour and 19 minutes, there will be the next challenge unlocked. So if you're interested in kind of doing that type of stuff, you can go do that. Now what I've been doing is I've been going to explore, and I've been trying to work through all of the different challenges. So they have a nice set of challenges for beginners, and the cool thing about these beginner challenges is that they actually kind of introduce you to a variety of keywords that you're going to see in TypeScript, right? They have a nice walkthrough over here of like, what exactly are you gonna learn in this? How you can apply it to solving the problem? And then in the top right, they typically give you something to solve. And on the bottom right, they give you some test cases to verify that what you're solving actually works. And if you see this green checkbox at the bottom, that means you solved the problem. So let's show you an example. I've already gone through the beginners and the great for learners challenges. Honestly, some of these I had to go look up solutions because I don't know what the heck I'm doing half the time. But I've been going through here and um, kind of give you an example on a fresh problem I have not seen yet. Basically, your goal is you need to turn all these red squigglies and get rid of them, right? You need to solve the problem. They kind of give you an example of what you need to do. So I don't know if I'll be able to solve this. I'm going to try it out, though. So implement a generic last T that takes an array of T and returns its last element. Now, there's probably some type of like helper function that will just give us what we want, but... I don't know, like I haven't learned enough about TypeScript to figure this out. So I do know what you can do in TypeScript is write recursive types so that you could basically loop through the list until you get to the very last item and return that thing. So let's try doing that. I'm going to go ahead and say T extends, and then I'm going to put a array here, and I'm going to say infer, and then I'm going to say first, and then I'm going to say dot, 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 infer, and I'll say rest. And what we're going to do here is using that infer statement, we can actually like pull off the first element of that array and then also get the remainder of the array. So I think if I want to get the very last element, what I can do is I can check if rest is undefined and I can just return that hopefully. So uh, I'm going to say if rest extends uh, never, I think is a the keyword, then what we want to return is first. Otherwise, we want to return last of rest and then otherwise we're going to return never that's my first attempt now let's just test this out a little bit i'm going to say like const array is equal to one like this and we're going to say type of g is equal to last of type of array now this is just going to help us test out like this type that we're building now if i hover over g we're getting never so so obviously this doesn't solve it. I thought I was on the right path, but I'm probably way off. Um, let's try something else. I'm going to say T of length. I'm going to say if that extends one, then we know there's only one thing left, and we can just go ahead and return first. Otherwise, we're going to return this. And I got it. It's, it's passing now. I have no idea how I solved that, but I think it's good. So now you can submit the problem. And I think they give you an example. No, this is my code that I submitted. But if I go back to solutions... I can see how some other people did it. And it looks like they were able to do it uh, in a lot less code. So let's just grab this over real quick and see how they did it. Okay, so I didn't know this was possible. They're basically spreading on all of the elements of the array, and then they infer the last one, and then they just return that last element's type. Otherwise, I guess if the array is empty, it just returns never. Okay, so that's Pretty interesting. Let's see if there's any other solutions. All right, so this solution is literally the same as the other solution. Um, and here is a recursive solution, which I think is very similar to what I did. 
So basically get the first element, get the rest. If the rest is an empty array, then we know that we have only one element in the list and we return that. I like this solution a lot. I think it's better than what I did, but pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my solution. I might actually change this up a little bit. I might just follow that. I'm gonna see if rest extends empty string, then return the first, otherwise call the recursive function. So I like this one a little bit better. You can submit it. And then once you submitted it, you can actually go and submit your own solution. So I'm gonna go over here, recursion, thoughts, this one was fun. Uh, I'm also gonna say like and subscribe. So be sure to click that subscribe button and then you can post it. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna demo is the tracks. So they only have one right now, which basically is a collection of things that help you, for example, learn the TypeScript foundations. The next one, which is coming soon, is crafting TypeScript utility types. So if you wanna get a preset collection of practice, you can basically go through all these and do these. Luckily, I've already done all these. Um, right now, I've just been exploring all of the medium problems, just trying to solve them myself. If I can't, I look at solutions and just try to learn from them. But as you can tell, I mean, they got, they got a lot of problems here. If I go over here for uh, experts, you'll see how many questions they have here. That's got to be like over 30, 40, 50 questions. And then, of course, if you're a master, they have a couple of really hard ones that I haven't even looked at yet. So that's about it. If you guys are looking for a really fun and actually useful way to learn more advanced TypeScript, definitely head over to typehero.dev, check it out, sign up, and start practicing. I guarantee you it's going to make you a better TypeScript developer. Like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join if you want to find a place to kind of hang out and ask questions to other developers. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.